Hi everyone, my name is Tracy Jeffrey and I am going to make a delicious Northern Irish treat for you today. I'm standing here on the shores of beautiful Strangford Loch. It is, has the longest um, coastline in Northern Ireland, it's 120 miles long and it's the largest inlet of water in the UK. It's also a nature reserve and very luckily for me it's where I live. So at this minute in time I'm about five steps from my home. Um, it's an area of outstanding natural beauty. So you'll see behind us lots of little drumlins. The countryside is very, the landscape is very rolling and very soft. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some of these delicious local treats and they're called 15s. And I'm sure you've probably already guessed why they're called 15s because we have 15 of each ingredient with the exception of our condensed milk which we use as a small tin of condensed milk for this. Okay, so 15s are made with um, digestive biscuits or you could use ginger nuts or anything that gives you a nice sweet crumb and I've just whizzed 15 of these in the food processor and got a fine crumb. I'm going to add to this my cherries. These are just glacé cherries and I've chopped them up small um, and there are 15 of them and then we have 15 delicious marshmallows. I like to go for the nice big ones because they're quite juicy and soft and they look they taste very very good in the 15s and then the other thing we're going to to do at the end is we're going to top them with some coconut which you can or, or omit if you wish this is basically what we call in Northern Ireland a tray bake and tray bakes are sweet treats that are basically made in a tray and then cut up it's a no-bake um, dish so it's very easy that way so I'm going to just throw my 15 of my biscuits crumbled up. I'm going to have put in my 15 cherries. Okay. I'm going to add my 15 marshmallows, which I've chopped up quite small. And you can use a spoon to mix all of these together, but to be honest, I just like to get my hands in there and just kind of mix it all nicely together and get your, your crumbs and your digestives and your marshmallows all mixed in. Okay, so at this stage then, so I've got it nicely mixed in, as you can see there, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my small tin of condensed milk and just add it all to the mixture. Now, obviously, this is a very sweet milk. Nobody said you were going to lose weight eating this dish. And yes, it's not exactly nutritious, but you know what? It's a treat. It's a sweet treat. So we love it. We absolutely love it here. And everybody eats it all the time. So I'm just mixing everything together. Okay, so get your get your mixture mixed into your your condensed milk and again I prefer just to as I do with with all of the breads I make and most of my recipes just get your hands in there and mix it in together okay so I've got it all nicely mixed in and it's nice and quite moist and quite a wettish mixture I would say okay and when I've done that I'm just going to take it and scrape it into my tin. Now, you don't need any greaseproof paper, you don't need to butter the tin or do anything like that. You just need to simply press your mixture nicely into your tin, like this, okay? And press it in good and firm, okay? Because you want this all to stick together and clump together. And then once I have done that, I'm literally just going to take um, a scoop of coconut Actually going to take it out with my hands because it's easier and I'm going to sprinkle it liberally again that's entirely up to you you may not decide to have coconut but I love it and with this then I'm going to put this into the fridge for about two hours or you could put it in the freezer for about 40 minutes take it out cut it up into squares and enjoy thank you very much